Hi, my name is uh, Shashi Murthy. This is a TDM Echo Canceller video. We will go over EC testing, G.168 testing, um, that is the GUI solution. I'm going to show you with the with our hardware T Pro. Hardware is uh, T Pro, which has two ports. Port one is at the near end, which receives R out and transmits SN, and port two is at the far end, which transmits RN and receives S out. So GL EC tests are simplified using GUI solution. We are using GL box to send the impulse and also to generate echo. And then the capture data can be analyzed using GLC view. So the long haul from the echo canceller is connected to port 2 of the T Pro and tail from the echo canceller is connected to port 1 of T Pro. Port 1 receives the R out signal, delays the R out signal with specified delay time in milliseconds and attenuates the R out signal and filters the R out signal per ITUT G.168 hybrid type. In this example that I'm going to show, I have picked uh, G8M11 filter. So whenever there is a double talk, NL NLP will be off, uh, which freezes the canceller. Echo canceller is a detector of interruption. It turns off the NLP. So let's now go to the T probe GUI. Here is the T probe GUI. Port 1 is selected set to ESF, no low back terminate internal gate CS on and cross port is set to normal. And port 2 is set to ESF, no low back terminate recovered on and normal. So in this example, I'll be sending Rn from port 2, time slot 0, power level minus 10, and, and it is received at minus 10 on card 1, port 1. Port 1 receives the R out signal delays the R out signal with specified delay, delay time in milliseconds, say 33 milliseconds, attenuates the R out signal, say by minus 13 dB, and filters the R out signal per ITUT G.168 hybrid type. In this example, I have picked G8M11 filter bypass in in the echo canceller. So that means EC is not in the picture and you'll see strong echo and it is annoying and cannot conduct conversation. So let me start and uh, so you'll see the 10 dB level is received at uh, 10 dB on card 1 and then delayed and attenuated, filtered and you see around minus 23 seems to be correct around that and filter accounts for my and now I'm going to reset and enable echo canceller so type in HCLR which clears registry CLR H clear H register cleared which and then I'm going to set bypass out, meaning echo canceller is in. Bypass out. Okay. 
I mean, previously the NLP was in, that's why we saw minus uh, 77. I changed the NLP to be out. I have set the NLP out. So you see minus, uh, it's around minus 55. As said before, if I type in HClear, it uh, freezes adaptation. You, you watch this uh, spectrum analyzer here. As soon as I type HCLR, you see it freezes the adaptation. Mm. So whenever there is double talk, NLP will be off. It freezes the canceller. Echo canceller is a detector of interruption. It turns off the NLP. So when the NLP is out, you see around minus 56. So NLP is after the EC, there will be a low level residual. Now when the NLP is out, there will be a soft echo. It is not a strong echo. Uh, this is the limitation of uh, mu law or a law because of the quantization noise. So if the NLP is in, uh, there is no echo. NLP NLP in. So you will immediately see the level, it goes down to minus 77, everything is clean, there is no echo. This is a basic concept video uh, for the echo canceller. To transmit Gaussian noise, you go under this uh, intrusive test, transmit Gaussian noise. And uh, the spectral display is available under sorry, monitor power spectral. And um, these power windows can be brought up here under monitor power level. And this delay and attenuate application is under special applications, echo test solutions, and delay attenuate time slots. Th this is the basic uh, concept video which shows how you can send a stimulus and uh, simulate echo, delay, attenuate, filter and add double talk mix page and you can also synchronize uh, double talk uh, that is sync start with receive burst. In the next video I will be going over the GRAT168 test. We have to now see if uh, the G.168 requirements for test 2B are met. Uh, from 0 to 50 milliseconds, the EC is not required to perform better than the ERL. But uh, between 50 milliseconds to 1 second, EC is required to increase its performance to 20 dB of loss and maintain at least uh, this requirement for up to 10 seconds. Beyond 10 seconds, the requirement is dependent on signal level. In our case, we had RN signal level of uh, minus 20 dB. So uh, this residual, residual signal level should be 26 dB or better. Here is the test to be requirement, G.168 requirement. So if the RN is minus 20 dB, the residual signal level should be 26 dB or better. I will now go over uh, test to be convergence test with uh, NLP disabled. To do that, let's go to the hyperterminal and uh, H clear. NLP should be set to out, that is NLP is disabled.
now go to special applications menu and echo test solution submenu and then run delay and attenuate time slots set time slots to start on zero and end on zero set receive data source to card one delay of uh, 33 milliseconds and gain of uh, minus 10 dB that is the attenuation of uh, 10 dB click the browse button under filter files and select filter file g8m11.xfr click open button set transmit data source to card one next go to special applications uh, and then run playback from file set playback from file to card two set continuous playback and then time start selection to start one zero and end on zero click the browse and go to the echo canceller test suite folder from the foreign one folder select uh, css s20 dot click the open button and next go to the special applications and then run record data to file here set record data to file for card number two uh, start on set time start selection to start on zero and end on zero uh, click the browse button and select the directory and file that you will be recording in so now let's start the record data to file and then start it's saying you want to overwrite that's fine and then start delay and attenuate time slots and then play back from file watch these windows so it looks like it is converging let's capture till for 20 seconds now stop uh, delay and detonate time slots and stop uh, playback from file click on GLC view waveform viewer under special applications echo test solutions GLC view waveform viewer select the file you just captured the sort file open data format encoded to T1 Mula say OK and you will see the converged file if you zoom in you will see the level of the file minus around minus 33 and also you can see the convergence this is the test to be G.168 test. Thank you.